and welcome to Tech Tips. My name is Jonathan Taylor from Move Academy in Munich, Germany. And in this series, I want to go behind the scenes and look at the technical data that you get from these wonderful instruments that we're all practicing with nowadays, whether it be the eye trainer, which clips onto your golf club, or the trackman that sits behind you and tracks your golf ball and club with a radar. I hope you enjoy the series. Let's get started. Hello and welcome again to Tech Tips. My name is Jonathan Taylor from the Move Golf Academy in Munich, Germany. And today I want to talk a little bit about backspin. Whenever you uh, hit a golf ball with a golf club that has loft, you're going to create backspin. And the backspin plays a massive role in the uh, ball flight. When we actually hit a golf ball, the golf ball starts to spin around its axis. And as it does this, it accelerates the air which is traveling over the ball, breaks the air traveling under the ball, and as a result of that, you get a high pressure zone building up underneath the ball, and the ball gets lift. And it's this lift which helps the ball up into the air and almost breaks the ball as it comes down and lands. So I know that a lot of people are really interested in backspin to stop their ball when it lands on the green. But in truth, backspin plays a far bigger role than that. The trouble with backspin is when your face and path alignment are not correct, because that will tilt the axis of the golf ball. A lot of people talk about backspin and side spin, but as you can see on my model, no golf ball can spin around two different axes. What actually happens is the axis tilts. And when the axis tilts, the ball is pushed by its lift to the side. I hope this has helped you to understand a little bit about backspin, how it's created, and why it's so important in a golf swing. Next time we'll be back with path and face to path. See you then. <laughs>